States Marine Corps. Si Sudoro Jigger, represented by Senior Undersecretary Irineo Sierra. As coastal nations, the United States and the Philippines share the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. We understand the importance of maritime cooperation in addressing the complex challenges that threaten peace and security in our region. Together, alongside our like-minded partners, we are fully committed to upholding a stable and prosperous Indo-Pacific. This exercise and the many other smaller military engagements are central to achieving our shared commitment to greater interoperability between our respective armed forces. We are worried that the Balikatan military exercises linked to fo increasing foreign military buildup will lead to an escalation of conflict in our region instead of finding diplomatic ways on asserting peace in our region. Patuloy natin susuportahan ang panawagan ng ating mga mamayan laban sa Balikatan.因为你的区域扩大了，还有一个呢，你的兵力增加了。呃，再有一个呢，就是美国呢，在这次军演的时候呢，还从美国专门用C17这种运输机把这个叫低风系统运到了这个驻扎在菲律宾的基地上。呃
Over 16,000 members uh, from the armed forces of the Philippines and the United States military will train together this year. In doing so, we will demonstrate that the mutual defense treaty between the United States and the Republic of the Philippines is no mere piece of paper. Balakatan 24 gives us the opportunity to demonstrate advanced, multi-domain, cross-functional combined operations across a full range of missions. In short, we're going to show the people of the Philippines and the world that we've gotten better and we're never going to stop doing so. It is not a partnership of convenience, but rather a clear reflection of our shared history, unwavering commitment to democracy, and respect for international law in our pursuit of peace and security in the Indo-Pacific region. And at the Department of Defense, we're working in lockstep with our colleagues at the Department of National Defense to strengthen interoperability between our forces, to expand our operational coordination, and to stand up to, coer to coercion in the South China Sea. And our commitment, as uh, Secretary of State said just a couple of seconds ago, our commitment to our mutual defense treaty with the Philippines remains ironclad first time that all six of us have gathered to this. And I think uh, today's meeting, uh, an unprecedented three plus three, reflects the growing and deepening cooperation between our countries on a broad array of issues. And of course, our shared commitment uh, to a free and open Indo-Pacific, uh, including in the South China Seas. Uh, we very much welcome this opportunity to uh, pursue that cooperation, collaboration, and of course, we stand with the Philippines uh, in our ironclad defense commitments, including the Mutual Defense Treaty. Uh, and, uh, in a way, today's meeting of the 3 plus 3 is also a historic meeting as it follows on the heels. But uh, more importantly is we, we are determined to uh, assert our sovereign rights, especially within our economic, uh, exclusive economic zone uh, and in accordance with the uh, UNCLOS and the arbitral ruling.